Don't get anxious. Get prepared. Welcome to the Career Engineer and Friends presents the Career Life and Business Show. Our purpose and promise to you is to deliver career, life, and business solutions that maximizes your potential, minimizes your competition, with bottom line solutions that work. Are you ready to make Monday mornings better? Stay focused. The next 30 minutes will change your career, life, and business. Welcome to TCE and Friends presents the Career Life and Business Show. I'm the career engineer and I'm your host and get ready for a powerful show. It's one of my favorite subjects, how not to get hustled in your career life and business. And to help us teach you how not to get hustled, I've got my friends with me. And let me go ahead and have them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Sandy Zalub with Commonwealth Financial Partners. I'm a financial advisor. I'm Winston Bursch and I'm a business coach and owner of the Entrepreneur Source. Great. My name is Tamala Suman, and I'm a de-stressing coach. I'm the CEO of SpaEpicure.com. Great. And all of these folks are TCE Network members, so they are part of our non-hustle zone. And they know what that means to me. But I tell you, this is one of my folks often say, why in the world do you say stop the hustle? What is that all about? As the career engineer, we want folks to be empowered in their career, life, and business. And as a woman who has been in business now some four years or more, I'm a social worker by training. I didn't get an MBA. I'm a social worker by training, but I had an idea in the widget. Truth be told, I've been hustled, and I don't want you all to get hustled either. So I wanted to have this conversation on things we can do to make sure that folks don't get hustled in their career life or business, and particularly to the business owners, because as I started coaching businesses and career seekers as well, I saw good folk get swindled out of their dollars, lose time, lose talent, just give up on their dream because they trust the wrong folks. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So let's talk about this, how not to get hustled in our career life or business. Um, and, I, yeah, and actually, I want to start on the business side because the one reason I came up with that model in terms of our teaching and training was I really got upset. I would find good people just lose money and talent and treasure. It just really bothered me. So on the business side, what are some things that folks can do to not get hustled? And when I'm saying hustled, I'm not talking about the verb of, you know, you work your business, you're hustling your business, but folks need to be, they need to understand about being protected. They got to understand that sometimes the sales agent is not the expert. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, I mean, so many times I first got that business license, you know, I had every account rep call me from every publication in Hampton Roads saying I need to advertise and thus and so. And as an early business owner, yeah, I, I did it, but didn't produce any results. But Winston, what are you seeing out there? What can we do to help businesses not get hustled? One of the biggest and most fundamental things we can do is slow down. We're in such a hurry. We've got so much going on. We're pulled in so many different directions that we truly need just to slow down, mm -hmm. put a little bit of a plan together, even for the smallest things. You know, what is it that we really need and what is it that we need to accomplish? I'd like to share a story with you. Please. Um, one of the more stupid things I've done in my life. Yeah, we love those things. <laughs> involved when I was setting up my business. And obviously, like everybody, I needed a federal employee identification number. Well, on this particular day, when it was becoming critical, because I had procrastinated previously in getting this, I was on a webinar doing email and had a phone in my ear mm. all, all at the same time. And I Googled the, the FEIN. And they sent me to a website, because that's what Google does. Yes, it does. I ended up paying $128, and it took two days to get something you can go to IRS.gov mm. and get in two minutes at no cost. For free. So you did the fee right. thing versus free thing. I did. Wow. You know, and what a lesson that was when mm. I stood back and said, what is wrong with this picture? Mm. And I truly learned from that. We really need to slow down, pay attention and learn. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So that whole time thing, and we're all in that quick, fast, in a hurry. That's what I call the quick, fast, in a hurry syndrome. Got to do this. You have phone here. Got that little blackberry. But because we're not also trusting our judgment to know what we're paying money for things, it doesn't cost anything. You could have went right to the good old government. The government good for a few things. Yeah. Uh, getting a free tax ID number is one of them. Excellent. You know what? Excellent. Yeah. Tamla, getting hustled in your life. Hmm. Do folks get hustled in their relationships? Uh-oh. Get hustled in their life? What do you think? Talk, let's talk about it. Cause we, we want folks to be empowered in all three dimensions, so let's talk about that. You know, as we were sitting here talking about this and, I, and I'm listening to you, um, you know, if we were at the movies, 
you know, we all do this. You go watch a scary movie, mm -hmm. and, and, and this girl's walking, and you hear the creaking, and everybody's like, no, no, don't go in there. And everybody knows she should go in there, right? <laughs> we all see it. How come she can't see it? Mm, love and that. It happens in our own lives. Sometimes you have an inkling that maybe something's off. But you brush it to the side. It might be real, real subtle. Mm -hmm. But you know in your knower sometimes things that you need not to do, or maybe some actions that you should take. But rather than going with what you know, mm. whatever, it might be an outside influence, it may be your head talking yourself out of something, you really have to slow down, like he said, and start paying attention to mm. what's around you. Pay attention to stories other people, you know, tell you from different experiences and really just take your time when making these type of decisions. Wow. You know, I had a best friend growing up and I used to love it because she always got in trouble and I never did. And people said, no, you're the goody two-shoes. No, I was living through her. She kept messing up while I'm going to do it. There you go. I love so it. Pay attention. So you're, you're really echoing a lot of even trust your own judgment. Right. Trust your instincts. Right. I can think of a time where in another show, not this one, of course, where, you know, my instincts spoke loud, but for other reasons, I decided not to listen to them. Didn't get hustled out of money, thank God, but got hustled out the currency I can never get replaced, which was my time. Okay, so in our career life or business, that time factor, we cannot replace time. So we have to be very serious and make the right judgments. But I didn't listen to my inner ear, nor did I, would I accept the third eye that was telling me, don't do this, don't do this. So I lost time on that. But how important that we need to slow down and, and listen to ourselves. Sandy, in the world today with that money going on, the economy, Hmm, what can someone do? I mean, should we have a buyer beware when it comes to financial planners? I mean, accountants, lawyers, financial planners. Are there any good ones out there? Of course, there's are saying Zalou, one of RTC members. Yes, there are great ones out there, but in any business where people are touching your money, mm -hmm. you need to be careful. If they're going to, um, you know, advise you, you want to make sure they're advising you in your best interest, not their own. Okay. Um, financial advisors, and in many industries, we get paid. It's a commission-based fee that you get paid. Mm -hmm. Some portions of that business are going to pay better than others. So you want to make sure that the that you are being advised to do with your money what is best for you and for your goals, not what's best for the advisor's goals. Wow. Okay. okay. And that there's a lot of truth in that gut instinct. There's been studies done mm. that say there is a lot of power in that, and you should listen to it. So if you're not getting a good feel, mm -hmm. go out and interview another one. Go out and interview two more. Okay. Compare the results. And and, and getting you know, those second opinion on your financial planner is Absolutely. good to do. Excellent. Absolutely. Well, you know what? We touched the surface, and this is what we love about career life and business, because we, we touched the surface on how not to get hustled. When we come back, we're going to take this thing to fifth gear. We're going to give you some immediate lesson learned and some best practices so you cannot get hustled in your career life or business. Stay with us. This is the Herbal Pharmacy located at 4215 Granby Street. You name the problem, we have the herb. If you don't ask questions, we cannot give you answers. Here at the Herbal Pharmacy, we're here to take care of you and all of the problems that you have. We do not use synthetic herbs. Everything is organic to help weed you off of your synthetic medicines and bring you back to God's natural herbs. We take care of you and all of your needs. I was so embarrassed last week, I invited my sister over and we saw a roach. When we had a roach in our problem, we called the bug man. I really don't want a contract. Well, you don't need a contract, and he'll take care of all your pest problems. Hi, I'm Tari Walker from Bugman Pest Control. Many homes and businesses don't need an ongoing contract. We operate on a no contract basis. We can treat all your pest control problems and only come back when you need us. Call the Bugman today. Hi, I'm Veronica McMillan, Executive Director for Let's Talk Incorporated. Our mission is empowering women and teen girls for life. If you need someone to talk to, you're hurting, or you're just in a place at life where you just need to move on, give me a call at area code 757-420-8232 or visit our website at www.letstalkinc.org. Thank you very much. Welcome back to TCE and Friends Presents the Career Life of Business Show. I'm your host, Francina Harrison, and you're all here with our friends who are talking about how not to get hustled in your career life of business. 
the earlier segment we got into the surface talking about some great things. Let's dig deeper. We want to give our folks some keen information they can use Monday morning. You know me, I'm all about that Monday morning, right? So in our career life, we're building some things that uh, what folks can do. And I think it was also cool, Winston, you shared a little story. I guess I'll, I'll start with you. But the, one of the stupidest things you've ever done was paying for something you didn't have to. Um, and I know I've got something to share on that, too. So I'll, I have no problem with disclosing it with the world, some of the things a career engineer has done before she was a career engineer. But let's talk about some things that folks can do to get themselves positioned so they don't get hustled. What are some things folks can do who are business owners? More than anything else, you need to step back and take a look. Mm -hmm. You need to step back and understand the plans that you have in place are you working those plans? When most of us go into business, most small business people go in as technicians. They've got this great little widget, it's the neatest thing since peanut butter sandwiches, mm -hmm. and so now I'm going to make a living with it. Well, they never step back and take a real look at the big picture of the things that make up a successful business. Mm -hmm. Or stated another way, they tend to work in their business instead of on their business. Now what's the difference? Because say I'm a business owner, I'm up here, I'm shining my widget, I'm working daily, what, what am I doing wrong if I'm working in it and not on it? The, business, the widget has to be shined. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt about that. But when I work on my business, then I'm stepping back from a big picture perspective and taking a look at, okay, you know, what is my process for shining the widget? Mm -hmm. Now that it's shined, how am I getting it to market? Gotcha. Okay, now that I've gotten it to market, what is my cash flow? Okay, what is my overall business plan? Where do I want to get to? Mm -hmm. And how do I get there? And the advantage hmm. of looking at it from a big picture perspective is that you're practicing from up here mm -hmm. on how to deal with everything down here. So if you take the time to work on the business, mm -hmm. it gives you much more efficiencies, much more time in life, really becomes more productive and rewarding, and more importantly, provides you with the life you're looking for. That sounds like wonderful advice. And I think also by working, I love that whole big concept picture, because I think that would also flow to our other two guests. You know, sometimes, you know, what, what, what the folks say in the old days, you can't see the forest for the trees, right? You're so close, there it is, you're going to run into it. But we can pull ourselves back a little bit, okay, and know exactly, you'll look at it in a conceptual style, it can benefit us. And it might also help us without getting hustled, because now we know exactly what we have, exactly what we need to do, exactly what we want. So when a little hustle man shows up and says, you need that pink little thing over there that's $5,000 a month, we know exactly what we need because we can see the big picture. Okay? Let's talk from the lifestyle, uh, life point of view, that hustle. Because, I mean, I tell you what, I'm a social worker. Maybe for really we should say we should be a non-hustler or a non-hustle practitioner. But a lot of folks whose lives are jacked up, and that's the way I call it, they, they fail to get their life in position to stop being hustled. What, what are you seeing out there? What can we do about that? You know, the easiest way I can put it, don't go to the grocery store hungry mm. and don't make a decision upset. I love it. Great. Because Let's that's expound on that. Happens. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're wrapped up, we're either, either on the good side or on the negative side, but we're feeling having that fight or flight thing happen. It's like, I need something to be done. I, I need to make a decision, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with it. If that happens a lot. Then the other thing is, honestly, we're lazy. Mm. We are lazy. As hard as we're working to get everything done, we're looking for the easiest way to do it, not just to save time, but because we don't want to put in the effort that Isn't it's going to take to really okay. find out what we need to know. Hmm. So, so something comes along, you know, that looks halfway decent. Right. And so it's like, well, you know, I mean, you know, it, can't, it, look, it looks good. It's shined up pretty nicely. And, you know, I'll give you an example. Um, I went to buy a flower the other day, and it was so pretty. I loved the little color. You mm -hmm. know, I'm walking to the store uh, to, to pay for it, and I finally looked down, and then, like, inside was all eaten up. Ooh. But I would never know if I hadn't stopped to take another look. Mm. That's what happens to a lot of people. Wow. I would have paid that money and that thing was already dead. Mm. I love it. Your circle, how important is your circle oh. in the hustle factor oh. in life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we talk about your front row. You know, yeah. the theater. Who gets to sit on the front row? Mm -hmm. I got revolving chairs on the front row. I love it. Woohoo! You gotta oh. do what you gotta do. You know, you. They say, you know, birds of a feather. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that you were all exactly alike when you got together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you grow together. And if you're around people and you're seeing things in them that aren't building you, aren't edifying you, or, or, or things that are tearing them up, stick around long enough. Mm. You know? I'm going to be real country for a minute. You go in somebody's house, 
and it's fried some chicken. Mm -hmm. By the time you leave, you are going to smell like fried chicken. I don't care whether or not how you feel about chicken. If you're a vegetarian, <laughs> well, I don't Good really point. Eat that much. You're gonna smell like, like chicken. chicken. There you go. So the question is, what do you want to smell like? What do you want to be? Love it. You have to be extremely careful about what you allow into your space, into your mind, into your body, because it will come back out at some point. So if you got the hustle, if you're not jealously guarding what's around you, eventually mm -hmm. a hustler's going to find a way in, because that's what they're looking for. Words of wisdom. I love that. Chicken 101. <laughs> I like chicken, so I tend to be around houses that are chicken, but I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. We really have to, and again, as, a, as a, a practitioner of change, that relationship, that circle can speak life or death, and we have to really watch who, who our inner circle is. Sandy, talking about inner circle, talking about big concept, yeah. technician, looking at getting um, hustled in your money. Well, you know, what Tamela said really does carry over to the financial side of things as well because sometimes we don't know where to begin when it mm -hmm. comes to coming up with a financial plan. So we listen to our friend who thinks that maybe putting all their money in a CD is a good idea or in the savings account is a good idea and I, I had somebody argue with me one time about the, the market and mm -hmm. you know I, I have the training to be able to give and educate. I can't guarantee you anything mm -hmm but I can give you some educated background on, on the history. Um, if you've got somebody in your circle that they don't know how to succeed, mm -hmm. they're going to try to keep you from doing the same thing. Right? Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, so we can all echo that one. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And then okay. what happens is you end up people end up with people in panic mode at some point in the future. So you end up people trying to fix things reactively mm -hmm. instead of having been proactive. By the time you're acting reactively, it, you're not going to be able to accomplish the same thing. I always like to say it's not too late, but mm. it, it, maybe it could be too late if you don't start thinking ahead. So what we're hearing is some good stuff, and I'm glad we're having, again, this real-world conversation because folks don't want to admit. I mean, who wants to admit they've been hustled? No one wants to admit that. It's one of those things. And, and one thing that's just a little pet peeve for me, particularly when I heard it on the business side, because, one, one again, one reason we started the non-hustle or Stop the Hustle coaching program, I would hear one business owner, let's say business owner A, okay, has a great business. They got involved in a strategic relationship with business owner B. Well, business owner B hustled them from, from, from the pulpit to the door. I mean, they just hustled them all around. Well, business owner C, who's a friend of business owner A, is about to get involved with business owner B. But business owner A does not share their experience with, you know, with, with uh, business owner C. So what happens is I've seen someone like, oh, I went to B and they hustled me and they you know, took my money, they didn't, my, che my checks, the checks bounce, all that kind of stuff. And business owner will go, oh yeah, oh yeah, they did that to me too. And I go, oh, I'm sorry, maybe I missed something. This is, you two are in collaboration. Why did you not share your experiences with that? Well, it's not my place to make something bad for somebody. It's it's not my and I, I just almost lost my mind. I said, No, it is your place. I mean, you testimonials testify good business, but let other folks be aware of bad business. I mean, this is what business is. We want to do good business. So he said, I used to wonder what was that little secret why, I mean, well, she didn't want anyone to know that she had got hustled. So she didn't, you know, warn a friend. But that's all because of course Truth be told, I was letter C, <laughs> you know, being out there. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me that person was that way? I wouldn't have gotten involved. So with the Stop the Hustle program, I tell you, it was really about wanting people to just, to, you know, do the right thing, mean what you say, say what you mean, okay, ask the right questions. Folks are, I know my widget. You, you're a financial planner and you're a business coach. You know your thing. But someone said, I think what Sam said, you have to make sure folks are doing what's right for you. What's right for you is, is great, but I have to make sure it's in line with right for me. So here's the thing. When we're talking about getting hustled, what I want to do also, and particularly when we get ready to go to the, se the next segment, is I really want to know what's something that folks can do. I mean, something really powerful to, to not get hustled. And if they have been, I mean, sometimes you just have to clean it up, you know. But what can we do to protect our, our, our time? our talents and our treasures so that when that person comes to us on, on our lifestyle situation and our businesses and our money so we can be prepared for Monday morning. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a break, we're going to come back, I'm going to want you guys to give me some good meat, some something you all would do Monday morning so our folks could be empowered with it. 
Okay. We're the Career Life and Business Show. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Winston Birch, business coach with the Entrepreneur Source. With the Career Life and Business shows, you meet many people who are coaches in their own right. I would like to remind you just for a moment that in our lives, we often think that we can handle just about anything that comes up on our own. But look around you at the people that you meet in this show and give them the credit that they deserve. But more importantly, give them the opportunity to help you in your life. As coaches, they have experience which you can draw on to increase the value of your life and your business. Let Frame Up Custom Frame and Art Gallery boost your mood with the latest in wall art design. Let Frame Up's professional designer come to your home or office. Let Frame Up help you surprise a loved one with a customized gift for a lifetime by shadow boxing a christening gown, athletic jersey, golf memorabilia, wedding keepsakes. I'm Pam Harris, owner of Shifting Wave Interior Design and Frame Up Custom Frame and Art Gallery located at the corner of Baxter and Princess Anne. This is the Herbal Pharmacy located at 4215 Granby Street. You name the problem, we have the herb. If you don't ask questions, we cannot give you answers. Here at the Herbal Pharmacy, we're here to take care of you and all of the problems that you have. We do not use synthetic herbs. Everything is organic to help weed you off of your synthetic medicines and bring you back to God's natural herbs. We take care of you and all of your needs. I was so embarrassed last week, I invited my sister over and we saw a roach. When we had a roach and ant problem, we called the bug man. I really don't want a contract. Well, you don't need a contract and he'll take care of all your pest problems. Hi, I'm Tari Waffle from Bugman Pest Control. Many homes and businesses don't need an ongoing contract. We operate on a no contract basis. We can treat all your pest control problems and only come back when you need us. Call the bug man today. Welcome back to TC and Friends Presents the Career Life and Business Show. I'm your host, Francina Harrison, the career engineer. And we were talking earlier about how not to get hustled in your business. And our friends are going to share with us some immediate takeaways, some best practices that you can do Monday morning because Monday morning is coming. So let's start all the way down there with Tamla. You know, what can we tell our folks so they don't get hustled in their life? What is one thing uh, that you can share that something you've been through or what works from your perspective. Give it to us, Tamla. You know what I would suggest? What is it? Go back and write down in detail the last time you got really, really hustled. Mm. Mary, if it's been more than one, go back and do the last three. Okay. okay. And look for the common thread. What is it that you, how are you setting yourself up to possibly get hustled? Wow. Is it that you move too fast? Then maybe you need to wait a week, wait two weeks, something else. Love it. Did you take something at face value? You should have dug deeper. Those are the things you need to do. If you will go back and, and examine that, you'll find the common thread and you'll find the place you need to start for you, the best practice for yourself. Mm. And what your natural tendency is as far as moving too fast or whatever that thing is. Wow. That's the best thing I can say. Hey, habits are powerful. Look at what you've done in the past. Don't repeat stupid mistakes. Love it. Okay. Winston, what can we do? Best practice. One of the most important things we can do is recognize and develop our own personal networks. Through the people that we know, we learn to share their experiences, mm -hmm. to learn what they've done that's been right, that's been wrong, um, that's worked for them. And you know, this will enable us to have the information that we need uh, in order to move forward, you know, because we're not in this alone. Mm. Okay? And the people around us, the people that we surround ourselves with, give us the opportunity to learn and to move forward um, and not get hustled. I love it. To make intelligent decisions. Mm -hmm. So you're not alone. You're not alone out there. No, Folks not. have a network of support. Yes. They're out there. Yes. We yeah. have to. So we just have to be willing to accept that fact, mm -hmm. I think, as much as anything else, and to understand that we're truly all in this together. Mm -hmm. And when we stand alone, we don't stand with the power um, that we truly possess. Right. So he who is isolated, prepared to get hustled. Pretty much. Love it. Yes. Sandy, 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 with the money. With the money. What can we do? What can our folks know so they won't get hustled in their in their financial uh, their financial preparation? Well, I think first I would like to say, you know, kind of tagging on to what Tamela and Winston said. You know, if you've been in that situation where you've been hustled, whether mm. it be in your life, your business, or in a money regard, once you, the one thing you've got to do is you got to learn 
to finally forgive yourself for that. Sometimes mm. people hold themselves back. Mm, good point. They don't let go of what they've done in the past. Okay, it's a new beginning. You've got your head on straight, you're moving forward, you've got your circle of influence around you. Um, make a fresh start. I love it. So then, from at that point, now when you're working with someone that's working with your money, that has their hands in your money, I think that if you get a feeling that, that's leaving you uncomfortable, that you don't have a sense of understanding, that someone's saying to you, it, it makes sense to me, I don't know why it doesn't make sense to you, or this mm. is a no-brainer, trust me. Run. That's when you don't immediately trust. That's when you've got to, nice. you have got to take a little bit upon yourself to educate yourself as well and get another opinion. Remember, you've worked hard for your money. You want it to be well kept. What else could we say? That is powerful. So don't be isolated. Tap into your network. Look at what you've done in the past, right? Let's do some you know, positive habits, produce positive results. If someone says no brainer, run out the room or get another opinion. I love it. And, and I love it's how funny that you said that because that happened to me. That happened to me with my money. And I and I, you know, trusted my instinct and did something different. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, yeah. when it comes right down to it. Uh, our reputation mm -hmm. is really all that we have to build on, grow mm -hmm. with, and to move forward. Mm -hmm. And if I recommend somebody to you, now I've stuck my reputation on the line. Oh, no doubt. And that, and that works two ways, and now we have healthy business. Yes, mm -hmm. that word of mouth referral, that using that network is more powerful. Less hustle, hustle potential Yes. if you're looking at the referral thing. This is all good stuff. You all have heard some great things on how not to get hustled. Now I'm going to want you all to reach out to my folks, my friends, TC friends, to find out how you can reach out to them so you won't get hustled in your career life or business. Sandy, if someone wants to connect with you, I mean, you are the ultimate financial planner. You take care of our people, and I appreciate all that you do with it. How can they connect with you? Again, my name is Sandy Zalou. You can call me at 757-493-4307. Or my email is szalud at finservices.com. That's S-Z-A-L-U-D at F-I-N-S-B-C-S dot com. All right. You have a bunch of seminars and things coming up Several so folks can get educated. Complimentary educational seminars. We would love right. to have you. Just give me a call. Great. Winston, how can folks reach out for you and not get hustled in that business? <laughs> Thank you. Um, please contact me through my website. Uh, that is uh, www.esource.com forward slash W Bursch. That's W B E R S C H. Or please feel free to call me at 757 273 7371. And Excellent. your success is what's important to me. Wonderful. And Miss Tamala. Right. To reach me, my name is Tamala Stuman. My number is 757 581 8456. Or you can reach me through my website at spaepicure.com. That's S-P-A-E-P-I-C-U-R-E.com. Or you can register to receive newsletters and other things that we have coming up. Wonderful. How not to get hustled in business, you heard from the experts. Trust yourself. Take your time. Use your network. Be smart about your money. Mm -hmm. Couldn't say it more powerful. Thank you all for tuning in to the Career Life and Business Show. I'm Francina Harrison, the career engineer. Glad you spent some time with us. Stay with us for next time. You're going to be empowered. I always say, give me 30 minutes and I'll make sure your Monday mornings are better. Can't leave you without a quote. Because we're talking about how not to get hustled. Got to use Miss Maya. She said something that was very powerful that helped me in my life. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Thanks for attending and we'll see you next time. Don't get anxious, get prepared. Thank you for joining us on the Career Life and Business Show. Tune in next time to learn how to make Monday mornings better in your career, life, and business. Have a question or show idea? Contact us at thecareerengineers.com. That's thecareerengineers.com. Thank you for watching the Career Life and Business Show. We will see you next time.